Last but not least, the instruction sheet on putting the bike rack together. Okay, so I'm a guy, instruction sheet, bike rack, who needs it? Hey everybody, I'm Chris, and I am one half of Trippin' with Chris's. Today, we're going to talk a little bit about electric bike racks. We're going to put the Swagman e-spec bike rack together. The reason I got the bike rack, um, it holds up to 70 pounds per bike, so I've gotten the two bike carrier. So in theory, it should hold 140 pounds. Um, the electric bikes that I have with the with the battery in, I think they're 62 pounds a piece, so you take the battery out and it's, I don't know, five, seven pounds, so I'm under 60 pounds per bike. So definitely underneath the weight limit for the bikes. Um, right here it tells you, shows you that it's e-bike approved. Right here it shows that it's RV approved as well. Um, so a little, little backstory on this. I guess it was uh, August, maybe September. I tried ordering one of these um, Swagman bike carriers from E-Trailer, and E-Trailer was out. They were, um, they didn't even know when they were going to get them in. The best they could figure out would have been March of uh, 2022, which is this year. I'm like, okay, great. Put me on the list. I'll order it. In the meantime, I was looking around for other bike carriers for electric bikes, for trailers. I found another one. It was, um, it's quite, quite, I'm not sure how you pronounce it, but um, for you guys out there that know, you know, you, you could tell me how to pronounce it. It'd be great, I guess. But, so I bought one. It was e-bike approved. It was trailer approved. Had everything put together, put the bikes on. We took off on our first trip, which was a 350 mile trip. By the time we got to our house, uh, the back holder had broken off the bike rack. The bike was hanging on by um, a chain that I had chained the two bikes together. So that bike, I don't trust that bike. So we started using tubs and transferring them around in tubs. Then I had e trailer call me up and say, actually, I got an email from e trailer that says, hey, your Swagman bike rack is on the way. I'm like, whoa, because we were going to start hauling them around in the buckets. So I had to call e trailer up and they're like, man, we've already sent it. I'm like, well, can I send it back? And they're like, yeah. And I started thinking about it and I'm like, you know what? It's a whole lot easier to haul bikes around on a bike rack than it is in a tub. Um, I've been wanting this bike rack. They're hard to come by, so I'm going to give it a test. Uh, so we're going to put it together, and then I'm going to put it on the on the uh, back of the the trailer. We leave this Sunday for I don't know a 45 minute or a 45 mile drive. So we'll see how that goes on. Um, and then one other thing, uh, this is day five of recovery of Chris's surgery and she's doing awesome. She's actually sitting right there on her phone in the sun watching. So, okay, so let's open up the box, see what's in the box. We'll pull everything out and uh, get this show on the road. All right, so the box pretty easy. It comes with uh, three of those banded straps on it. I had already cut those off and threw them away. So, lift the top off. Let's 
it's uh this is what locks the bike rack to the hitch right here keys and bolts The tire holders. The one thing that I'll tell you is uh, with these is that these are metal and the, the quads. This is the first thing that I've noticed just since I'm pulling stuff out between this and the quad bike rack is the, the ones from Swagman, these are metal. The ones from Quad are plastic. There's four of these. Um, that are all the same size. They all have tire holders on with a quad. There's two that have tire holders, two that don't. Okay, so here's the second thing that's uh, between the Swagman and the quad is the hold down for the quad goes over the front tire at an angle like this so this if this was the Kawat hold down it would go over the tire at an angle like this so Swagman it goes over it goes down over and locks over the straight bar um, so like if you have a guy's bike it goes over the the bar from the the handlebar to the seat that holds it down and then if you have a girl's bike or a step through bike whatever you want to call it then you have to get the piece that goes from the handlebar neck to the seat and you got to have that piece and then that comes down and, and holds on to it okay so for me that that puts the pressure on the center of the bike holds it down it's not going to go anywhere um, where with the the kawaii and it was holding it on to the uh uh, the front tire, I just, I didn't like it at all. Um, so, uh, one other thing is, um, I've, we have the electric 2.0 bikes, and their fat tires, well, there are 3 inch fat tires and not the 4 inch fat tires. So they should be able to fit into these without any problems at all. Next, it's the main frame for the the bikes okay here's the bike frames that the bikes sit on The center post for the hold down. Last but not least, The instruction sheet on putting the bike rack together. Okay, so I'm a guy. Instruction sheet, bike rack. Who needs it? I'm a guy. We don't use instruction sheets. We're going to put it together without an instruction sheet. All right. Wife's laughing her ass off at me. She knows better. I hope you guys know better. I'm using an instruction sheet. Just telling you, I'm not screwing this up. May have screwed stuff up before, I'm not screwing this one up. So, all right, let's start putting this thing together. It's pretty straightforward. Don't think we'll have any problems. Let me get everything laid out and then we'll start putting it together. This is what slides into the two inch receiver on the trailer. So what you do, it's, it, you know, they, they make it really easy. 
Uh, so this is a crossbar that goes on. They slide together in the back. You want to make sure there's two bows right here. You want to make sure that the ones close to the trailer, they bow this way. All right, then the one out, it kind of bows this way. It puts a good separation in between the bikes. If you did it the other way, I, I don't even know that it'd work. That you could, oh yeah, you could get them, you can get them together, but no way it would work for holding the bikes. So, okay, we got this set right here like this. I'm gonna take this one off real quick. <laughs> that way I can work on this one. So. There's a cap or a cover that goes on over where the carriage bolts go. I like this a lot too. It's uh, So you have the carriage bolt right here. Carriage bolt goes down, goes through the hole. Make sure it gets in, the, in there. Okay. Uh, when you're doing the carriage bolts in there, it's a half inch nut. And a lock washer, okay? So make sure that the lock washer goes on, then the nut. Okay, same on the other side. Not in the cures bolt, it's got a little it's got a little square spot too, so it it sits so that when you tighten them up, you get it in there. When you tighten them up, it's uh, you can tighten it up and you don't have to worry about uh, having a wrench on one side and a ratchet on the other or however you're going to do it. We're going to put this, this one on next. All right, now we're going to uh, we'll get the ratchet, it's a half inch socket, and we'll tighten these bad boys up. All right, so I've got my half inch ratchet, and it's, you know, one of those little sear, it's the, oh, it's a wrench, ra wrench ratchet, whatever, I don't know what you call these things, but anyways, so half inch, tighten, we're going to tighten everything up. You know the cool thing is is while I'm ratcheting this up I'm gonna put it in uh, fast motion or I'm gonna speed it up for you so you don't have to hang out with me while I'm doing this I'm gonna hang out with me but you just don't have to hang out with me the whole time you can I'll speak uh, you know what I'm doing got everything tightened up next thing is the center post we have the center post sitting just like this Same thing, we got the carriage balls with the square on the end. They slide in.
they never make it as easy as it as it looks. <laughs> now that we got the two carriage bolts in, same thing, lock washer, half inch nut. So look, I just want everybody to know, I am following the directions, because I'm on page two now. Okay, so, here's the one thing I'm gonna tell you is, is that for the Swagman RV approved, they give you an extra bolt, washer, lock washer, everything. It says RV hardware, okay? It goes right, right in this hole right down here. Okay. So this comes with the bolt, flat washer. Flat washer goes on bolt. Then it gets hooked into into the main frame, okay? Then you have the lock washer, and you have a three quarters inch nut. So we have the three quarter inch nut and bolt, everything set up. All right, so the RV part's done for this part of it anyway, so, okay. Got this all finished up. Next, we're gonna put on the bike holder, so let me get all that set up, and I'll get back with you. Plus, I've gotta change out a battery, so. All right. all right. When you put the crossbars on the main frame, you have a little screw hole right here, so. Just make sure that this screw holes on the bottom when you install it on here. It can get, it can go either way, right? So if you put it on, you know, it would go like this, but the screw holes are up. If you put it on down here, out this way, it these are still point out, spread out, right? Okay, now the screw holes are on the bottom. Don't be like me, because I'm I'm going from page to page to page. I didn't really realize, I, I knew that there's screw holes here. I don't know that it really matters one way or the other, except for, I guess, maybe rainwater can get in eventually this way, but it says to put the screw holes on the bottom, so I had to undo everything to put them back on. All right, some of the last things, we've got a couple more things we've got to do to finish up here. Um, that is to install the bike wheel trays. Bike wheel trays. Short end goes to the outside, long end goes to the inside.
All right, once we got that done, you have the screws, you gotta put the screws in. Like I said, they go in underneath, right here on the ends, that holds the end caps on. So we'll do that. Okay, I'm gonna spare you on watching me screwing the other two end caps. Um, the last we have to put on, so the hold downs for the bikes, long one goes on first, short one goes on second, and they have a lock on it, so. Also, uh, we need to get these adjusted. Um, I'll get this done and I'll meet you at the back of the trailer. We'll put this up and we'll get my wife's not gonna be riding her bike at all anytime soon. So we're gonna get her bike put on. We'll put it back in the back. We'll see how much of a pain in the behind that is and getting everything adjusted. So I'll see you at the back of the trailer. All right. Hooking the bike rack up to the hitch. You screw the locking, the locking pin through the hitch. There's a flat washer and a lock washer that goes on. Make sure you get those on there. All right, nice and tight. When you tighten that up, it tightens the rack to the hitch. So, any movement on the bike rack is done through the hitch. Okay, here comes the fun part. Getting my wife's bike adjusted to uh, the bike rack. All right, I think we'll scoot this down a little bit. Right here. All right, it's got a strap that goes in. And then it's also got this uh, really nice, uh, goes on, sits on top of the wheel, kind of holds it so the strap, it's not just the strap holding it, there's a spacer, goes right on top, right, and then slide that down. Man, I'd have to say that's pretty darn, that's pretty darn nice right there. All right, so the one thing about these is, right, so this was got to go on first. This one goes on next. Don't forget, on the step through, you need the crossbar right here. I've got that held in. I think I'm gonna give it a little more tug, a little more. That's it. So it's going right there. Get the front. <laughs> and then don't forget to tighten up your nuts on the, the wheel tray. Okay. 
Okay, we got the bike. Bike's installed. I like it. It's got a key, so you can lock this. You can lock the handle. It's locked. It stays in there. Like if somebody's gonna steal your bike, they're gonna they'll figure out a way of stealing it. Just a little bit of safety, uh, so somebody you know makes it a little bit harder. I've also got um, a cable that I run through the the tires of both bikes, just to make it a little harder to for anybody to steal. Okay, so I guess uh, I'm gonna get the my bike up on it. We'll show you how it looks uh, with both bikes on. All right. Both electric bikes are on. Um, let's talk about what I like about it. Because there's really, I had the uh, Quat electric bike. It said it was trailer certified. It had a lot of plastic parts and it broke. Um, the only plastic parts that are on the Swagman are the knobs right here and the hold downs for the bike tires that hold it to the uh, the wheel trays. I put it on this thing sturdy. Don't well, so um, the only thing that that moves on here is is the hitch. So and I'm gonna have to get that uh, tightened up a little bit, a little more sturdy. But um, the hold downs. Remember, if you have a step through, uh, you need to get this crossbar. Um, it just so happens I have a, a Swagman, and the reason the reason I have the Swagman is is I've I've had another one of these that was just for regular bicycles and not electric bikes. Um, if you're thinking about getting a Swagman trailer certified electric bike bike rack, I got mine from E Trailer. I'm just telling you they run out fast. They have a hard time getting it. Like I said, I ordered mine in August or September, and it just came in in February. So it, there's there's quite a wait for it. Um, there's locks on the hold down. Um, they give you two, two keys for that. Um, I do. They do send you a uh, lock for the. Um, the post that goes through that holds it into the hitch, which also tightens the bike rack to the hitch. It's a whole lot sturdier than the quad I had. So, anyways, um, I'm not endo I'm endorsing it, I guess. I just, I bought it. They didn't give it to me. Uh, the next thing we'll do is check it out. Uh, after I give it, I I'll give you a review. I don't know, I'll probably be three or four months down the road. Uh, so I could get some some real time with these on uh, on the rack. So until next time, everybody, enjoy your electric bikes and happy camping. Bye.